Welcome to Reef Diary, day 88. So this evening I really enjoy just looking at the reef and the anemone cube because everything is just looking so good. I uh, just, everything, I guess with the clean glass, everything is in HD and I'm just really pleased how everything appears to the eye and I'm very happy with where we are now. However, when I got up today, I took this picture because it never occurred to me to take video. The sea bay was on the move, which has not moved in years. And it was moved way over at like six, eight inches into the Duncans and the hammers. And I thought, what are you doing? <laughs> so I stopped the flow in the tank. I reached down inside and I started moving rocks around to kind of encircle it again and kind of get it back where I want it to be, where it belongs, where it's always been. And so far, so good. It has stayed put. But it was really, as you can see, it had completely engulfed one Duncan, was on top of the moon coral, was encroaching on that Montipora, that bright green one there on the left. And it did not belong anywhere there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I have been fortunate that this anemone has only tried to move like three times in six years. And each time it's happened, I basically repositioned it back where I wanted it to be. And it ended up staying in that spot after all. I still don't know what made it suddenly have a change of heart and decide it needed to move. But I'm really glad that I don't have to like have a have to deal with a problem at this point. So let's take a look at the reef. And the water was just a little bit cloudy because I just cleaned the glass with the cleaning magnets and it basically knocks off all that film algae, which is basically, I mean, it just seems like I'm adding phytoplankton to the water when I do that. As you can see, everything is full of color. There's no death or decay. I was looking at one little frag the other day that uh, I'd gotten from Terra Reef and the tip of it was white. I thought, oh man, but it was just the tip. And then today when I looked at it, I realized that's a new growth tip and it was bright blue, not white at all. <laughs> so that was a really nice thing to see. So yeah, everything is doing super well in the reef tank all the way across. I don't have any areas that I'm worried about other than the little sea bay moment today, but I'm happy to you know report that. One weird thing that happened, I woke up, I guess I woke up to this, maybe it happened during the daytime, but anyway, at one point when I looked over at the reef, the new Vortec I hooked up last night the wet side had fallen down into the reef, so there was no flow in the front of the tank on the left end. So I reconnected them and turned the pump back on, and then, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes later, it was disconnected again. So I thought, all right, turn off the pump, put them together again, and then turn it back on, and again, I don't know, it was an hour later or something, they were disconnected for the third time. I thought, Ugh, I don't understand. I never had this problem. So I went ahead and took the wet side out of the tank so I could inspect it and installed a clean version of the old wet side, which has held on perfectly and has had no problems. So tomorrow I'll probably make a phone call to Ecotech and just see if they have any suggestions, tips, or if they want to replace the wet side, if that is a possibility. I don't know what the issue could be. I took it apart. Everything looked 100% normal. I wiped it all down and it's sitting on the counter at this point. But it's weird that it won't stay on there, and yet the other one does, which is much older. <laughs> so you'd think brand new out of the box, I'd be good to go, but for some reason there was a little issue today. From the back side of the reef, you can see all the colorful corals, and yeah, I mean, just everything's fantastic. <laughs> I know it almost sounds like bragging, but it's like such a nice turnaround from 70 days ago to see so much vivid color and to see new growth bursting out of the acros and just seeing everything doing well, even on that frag rack that we passed a few seconds ago. I got all my water tests done today and everything's looking good parameter wise. Alkalinity continues to be around 9.5. Nitrates tend to be around 10. Um, phosphates were 0.1. So I mentioned in the live stream yesterday that I might start doing a, a maintenance dose of phosphate Rx. I'm kind of halfway tempted to lean into that and just kind of keep those numbers down on a regular basis rather than my little roller coaster up and back down. I'm really glad that I got that sea bay back where it belongs and off those other corals. But uh, as you'll look here in a second, see that Duncan, it's really closed up. Uh, it, it, I don't know how long they were in contact, but it's gonna take some time for it to feel safe again. But look how pretty the sea bay is full of the skunk clownfish. It's just a big old happy reef. If you liked today's video, hit like and feel free to comment down below and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.